take a look at what just arrived here to the garage today freshly released it is the new Ford GT kit from Tamiya it is here it has been released for the US market probably within the last week so it is really freshly released and it is here for us to take a look at so let's get to it hey guys welcome to what's in the box and today as you can see it is the new Ford GT kit from Tamiya just got released within the last week that I'm aware of here in the US market it's still not available for even pre-order in the Japan market that should be changing here very very soon now that it's been released here in the US my guess it should probably is probably going to be released in that market in the Japan market sometime probably closer to the to the end of February is my guess but I could be completely wrong but I do expect it to go up for pre-order there very very soon now that it's out here on to the kit yes it does have some engine detail it's not a lot I believe it's the parts count is like six parts I believe six pe six pieces that make up the engine detail it's not a lot just enough that you can see something when you look through the engine cover I really and I suppose if you really want a full engine uh, kit or, or this version of this kit you could probably take the engine from the race kit the race version and put it in this one so with that let's get to it check this kit out and see what's in the box and as you can see the body just like the Ford GT race kit from Revell this one is a multi-piece body as well and I'll take a look at the rest of the body parts which happen to be on this other big parts tree so there we go there's almost all the rest of the parts the body parts there the two rear pieces the front rear bumper pieces Flip it over pieces there and then the interior bucket take a look at that and moving along now to the next parts tree this one will contain a little bit of engine detail this kit has and it is down there you can see that is pretty much the extent of the engine detail I think there might be one other or two other engine detail pieces on one of the other parts trees but that pretty much is it right there as you can see it literally is a just a half of a block the top half much like the Aston Martin DBS kit they have the Tamiya um, the boxer twins the top half of the engine actually they those kits I think actually have more engine detail than this one so there is the engine detail again not much to write home about so look at the rest of the kit or excuse me the rest of the parts tree brake rotors fair amount of detail on them they look pretty good for a uh, uh, rotors these are detail to me I like detail and then some interior uh, bits down there. and moving on to the next parts tree which will actually be the last one that is everything that is molded in black parts tree and we'll start with the chassis plate down there built-in diffuser now take a look at the wheels and to go with the wheels the tires we'll take a look at those next as you can see there they are there are there's no uh, tread detail or excuse me there's no sidewall detail blank sidewalls there are and the clear parts tree next and last but not least the decals and other very and the uh, window masking stuff so let's get that first up first you do get typical to me a fashion a set of window masks 
set of uh, metal transfer there for the mirror faces. A decal sheet with the stripe options. As you can see, you got black, uh, the gray, the red, and the white. So that gives you plenty of body color options if you want to use the stripes. And finally, the decal sheet. Which actually, there isn't a whole lot there. Uh, some mesh uh, decals represent the vents, and there are the rest of the decals. And wrapping things up, we'll just look at a couple of things that are left in the box. First, this documentation from Tamiya America, or Tamiya Americas. They're commemorating their 30th anniversary. That is really neat. So on that note, oh, one more thing, actually. Uh, before we go, Jameson has assured me that he can mix up all of the current Ford GT colors. He is mixing up the Ford GT uh, liquid blue for me. So on that plug for uh, scale finishes, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.